Hey guys, this is my third time starting this video today. Hopefully this third time's a charm. I just finished my braids. I feel like a brand new bitch. I'm telling you, there's something about just pulling back your gross, dirty hair and just, it just makes you feel so much better. I'm making breakfast now. It's the usual breakfast of eggs and toast, so I'm not gonna show you, even though I'm kind of showing you right now. Hi. Okay, as I mentioned, I have started this video twice already today and it has ended up in me just complaining <laughs> and getting super down on myself and being negative and overanalyzing. I just keep starting the video and then ranting. I don't know how I keep going down that path, but I just keep complaining <sighs> about social media and blah, blah. And I don't wanna put that energy out into the world. I don't want to be a drag. I don't want to bring you guys down. I don't want to bring me down further by continually verbalizing these issues that I'm creating in my own head. I'm overthinking. So we're starting fresh. We're going to restart this video with a positive attitude. To cheer me up, I figured we would open this package from Legend London. Now, Legend London were so kind as to offer to sponsor one of my YouTube videos, which is going to be this one, I'm deciding right now, and an Instagram post of mine as well. And I don't usually get brand deals, okay? I don't work with a lot of companies. I only work with like Alphalete and Alani, who I'm sponsored by. Other than that, I don't get paid for shit. So I'm excited that I finally have... A little mini deal. I got a bunch of jeans. I have been absolutely loving jeans lately. I posted, I don't know what's come over me, but jeans are just my go-to now. Not during the day. Like I only wear sweats and like random shirts during the day. That's it. I wear athletic clothes for working out. And because it's summer, I'm in bikinis. That is all I've been wearing. Things are just opening up now in Ontario. Still not gyms though. We are the only place in North America with our gyms closed still. But we're gonna, we're gonna be positive. Like if I'm just popping out of the house, on jeans and like a tank top and it's such an easy outfit and I feel like I'm put together I don't know jeans are magic and I slept on them for a very 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 long time I used to hate jeans I would literally shit talk them constantly so I'm having an identity crisis wow the waist looks snug on this these are the women's bleach wash so I have been struggling to find like a light a very light denim that has the baggy look if you you could not catch me in a skinny jean anymore i think the reason i like jeans now is because skinny jeans are out and baggy jeans are in and i grew up in a time that all people wore was skinny jeans the thought of a skinny jean literally full body ugh, i don't know but i've been struggling to find like a baggy straight leg really 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 light denim so here we are. Women's bleach wash jeans non-rip in size six. The waist it does look a little bit snug, but I think they're super high-waisted, so it should be okay. They just look like they're gonna fit really, really well and be very flattering. So I will definitely style an outfit because another thing that I want to do today is to step outside my comfort zone. Because I feel like, especially during COVID, I have been so in my comfort zone, just in a bubble of comfort at all times and I want to break out of that and the way I'm going to do that today is I'm going to go try to take my own Instagram pictures. I am that bitch who has been complaining for five, six years now that I don't have anyone to take my Instagram pictures. It'd be so much easier if I had more Instagram friends. No more. No more. I am going to go out there into the world with my goddamn tripod in London, Ontario 
and try to take some of my own Instagram pictures. Am I scared? Yes. Will this make me a stronger person? I hope so. What's up next? I really like this color. So this is like a blue that's kind of faded and not like neon-y blue. It's, are these a straight leg? I think these are a straight leg. This is definitely not a skinny jean. because It's definitely a little bit wider at the bottom. Women's vintage wash, mom jean, non-rip in size six. Yes, this is a very vintage wash. Oh no. Sorry for just destroying skinny jeans. I do like this color a lot though. This like very light wash. Let me compare. Oh God, I just really like these ones. Very, very, very light. Like the lightest denim you could. I think I'm gonna style these ones today because I'm gonna style these. Like who do I think I am? And then these are the comparison between these blues. So this one is like a nice light blue. These are very like vintagey blue. Just had a genius idea. You know how I told you guys that I don't wear skinny jeans anymore? I'm gonna make these into shorts. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but I'm gonna cut these babies up and we're gonna make shorts. Yes. Okay, I don't know what kind of look I'm going for today, but I'm definitely gonna go with the acid wash, light wash situation. And I kinda wanna pair them with these New Jordans that I got. Oh, the bottom's really dirty. I'm obsessed with these shoes, okay? Look at these freaking colors. Yeah, so I, I really wanna wear these together. I just don't know what shirt to wear. Oh, what shirt to wear? I don't have anything new. I haven't gotten new shirts in like two years. One minute, let me look. Okay, quick side note, how good does the Daisy Baby print go with these shoes? Like, do I wear this as a top? I feel like you guys are so tired of seeing Night Swim though. Like, this could have been a look. I just feel like I have worn this to death. But it goes so well. This pink is like identical. Okay, I'm putting the jeans on right now. God, please fit, please fit. Please go up over my legs. Oh. Ooh, they're definitely a wee bit snug, but I can't believe they fit my waist. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Oh my. Okay, I'm distraught about Do you see how good this waist fits? Like it is snug. Like it was kind of hard for me to do up the button. I have never had jeans like that. Yo, these are good. If you guys work out and you have like bigger legs, smaller waist, these are the best jeans I have found the best. Snug throughout the waist. Butt looks good. Leg is baggy. Perfect length. Cute color. I shit you not, I'm not just saying this. These are my new favorite jeans. I have never had a jean that is nice and properly baggy throughout the legs while being snug on the waist. So this is the fit that I'm going with. The jeans, the jeans. This little IMG bralette, and I'm unsure about the jewelry. I went a little bit crazy. I'm still trying to get this bracelet on my wrist. No one talks about how hard it is to get bracelets on your wrist when you're using your bad hand. Like I'm using my left hand trying to get it on, it's taking me forever. I can only get this on because I slid it on. Anyways, I'm unsure about these necklaces. I feel like I'm doing too much. I'm unsure. Something isn't working for me, but this is what I have right now. 
<laughs> I am so bad at layering necklaces. It's just not a talent that I have, but I have, this is what we have put together for right now. I don't love it. I don't, I don't know. I also, I invented this. I don't know. I put one of my necklaces on my pants. I, I really don't know. Like, is this weird? Do I have too many? Second guessing myself. We could also go in a completely different direction with the shoes. So instead of these puppies, we could go with a little elevated, what is this called? I don't know, flip flop moment. <laughs> I got these on Amazon, I will link them below. They're super, super light, very comfortable. Obviously not the best quality. Like you can literally see my dirty ass footprint already. Gross. But that could be a moment with the jeans too. Okay, this is the final necklace situation that I went with. Just this simple chain. I'm scared. I'm gonna go do my laundry and then venture out into the world and find a wall. Okay, it was a lot of effort to get to this point. Um, I'm not gonna be wearing this men's shirt in the photos. I just figured the people in my building wouldn't really appreciate me walking around in a bra top because they're all old and I'm terrified of judgment. So this is gonna be really fun. Uh, this is my new tripod. Got it on Amazon. I will link it for you guys. I'm nervous. I'm like, I'm just going outside to take pictures of myself. What's the big deal, right? Let's go. Okay. I took my car in and I feel like they put the steering wheel at a weird height. Was it always directly in your face? I'm really sorry if it was. I don't know how people do this, but I should have put my tripod higher. Anyways, I'm just gonna drive until I see a relatively empty with not a lot of people area that I can whip out my big ass tripod and take some pics of myself. I don't know why it's taking me like 25 million years to just try this. Like it's taking me so many years to just go out into the world and take pictures of myself because I don't know, I feel like I've just been so scared of what people think if people see me taking pictures, especially in London, Ontario. Like London, Ontario, people don't dress nice here. No no one, ugh, it's, I don't know why I live here, but I do. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Sorry. This is probably bumpy. You guys are going to get whiplash. It looks like a beautiful day outside. It says it's 25 degrees Celsius. God, does anyone else's air conditioning just feel like it's, it completely dries out your eyeballs and you cannot have it pointing at you? I think I have ADHD. <laughs> I don't know how often I'm going to go out into the world and take my own pictures because so far, I just feel anxiety, but maybe it's because it's my first time doing it. I don't see any walls around here. London's also ugly as shit. There's nothing here. Like, oh, there's a white wall. But there's no sun on it. There's like a tan colored wall. Hmm. Oh, that's a white wall, but there's construction workers. Okay, there's a wall. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to that wall. I just need to find somewhere to park first. Can I park here? Fuck it, I'm parking here. I don't even know where this is. I don't know if I'm gonna get a ticket. This building looks deserted. Drinking my fit shake. God, I'm so nervous. This isn't even a big deal. Like, who cares if someone sees you taking a picture of yourself? With your whole tripod set up. Yes, they will judge you. Yes, they'll be like, who does this bitch think she is? But does it matter? No. Will I ever see that person again? Maybe not. Holy hell, it is so hot out here today. Oh my God, I just walked the wrong way. I hope no one's looking at me. Like, why, even just holding my phone out like this, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, there's a person. Like, why is this so hard for me? Does this get easier? I pussied out. I fucking pussied out. I walked right past that wall right past that wall there were people outside and there still are and they would have been able to see me with my tripod so i kept walking and now 
I'm in a little tree area. It has like walking paths and stuff. I've been here before. It's just like trees. So maybe I'll try out here because there's no one here right now. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know why I care so much about what people think about me in the moment. Like, and I don't know what the difference is between having a tripod and shooting yourself versus having a friend take a picture of me or having my mom take a picture of me. Cause I don't care when someone else is taking a picture of me. I will pose, I'll be in the middle of a beach with people everywhere and I will strike poses. But with my tripod, I don't know why that fills me with this deadly anxiety and I want to throw up even thinking about it. I'm gonna just, there's no one out here. I'm gonna try here. It's really pretty. It's just a little walkway. I'm such a pussy. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Oh my God, I'm really doing this. Okay, here's my setup. I'm gonna go stand over there. I'm shaking. I'm such a pussy. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I feel more comfortable when I'm talking to you guys. Like, I feel like you're here supporting me, like here with me. I should have put sunscreen on my face. Such an idiot. Okay, let's make this quick. It's so hot. I wish I was at a beach going in the ocean. Um, anyways, hi. So I'm not sure if that was a success yet because I haven't looked at the pictures. You know when you're outside and you're trying to look at photos and you can't see your screen at all? Yeah, I can't see this right now. I don't even know if I'm, I don't even know if I'm in the frame. So we're gonna go back to the car. I did it, kind of. I didn't give up. I just found a deserted location. I will get better at this because I feel very rewarded right now. I haven't looked at the pictures yet, so I might hate them all. We might have to try again. But as of right now, I feel very successful, like I accomplished something. This is a step in the right direction to becoming my own Instagram photographer. Anyways, I'm headed home and just in time because Italy plays Spain today. So definitely don't wanna miss that game. Go Italy. I'll see you guys when I get home. Thanks for coming with me. Honestly, I'm really happy I brought you guys because this would have been way less fun without you. Okay, gym clothes are on. I'm not working out right now, but I know it will be later, so there's no point putting on something else. And then, you know, I couldn't sit around in jeans all day. If you can sit inside your house in jeans all day, that's weird to me. Oh, the game is on in seven minutes. So I'm gonna pull up my laptop, do some work and watch. This is probably gonna be it for today that I'm recording. And I'll maybe check in with you tomorrow and you guys can pack with me for camping. <sighs> I don't wanna go. Hey boys. Okay, quick side note. Well, I, I just got the game on and it got me thinking that my, one of my biggest pet peeves is people booing. If you are up there in a crowd booing a sports team or booing a country, grow the fuck up. Grow up. That's all I have to say. Okay, have a nice night.